Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we continue with our playthrough of Warframe. So alright, we're going to the Venus Junction to open it. Great stuff, Venus Junction. A Warframe is really looking awesome, not so dull and default anymore. <laughs> Intruder? I thought this was our place. Looks like a Warframe ship. Oh dear. So we're going to challenge a Volteno. I suppose we're hijacking a ship. We're not supposed to be doing what we're doing. Kinda interesting to the story since we're fighting one of our own. So who's the rogue here? Is Volt the rogue or am I the rogue? Well, that'll be interesting to find out. There's a console over here. But he's kneeling. We're taking a knee about what we've just done right now. <laughs> no. Looks like we're opening a portal. That must be the junction that we're opening. Okay, cool. Mission completed. Venus is supposed to have field run. We've also got an option for the Divari quest now. Cool, we've got some power-up cards. We've got a Taxon blueprint and the Taxon is a companion. But if I can't find field run here, then I'm going to actually play the mission a couple of times just to get that companion working. And I'm sure that that's going to make our Warframe extremely, extremely tough. Is that the E-gate? That tab on the top that says complete the E-gate. So if you click that, then that automatically takes you to the next part of the story. So that's a good way of actually... Outside Cetus, you may derive sustenance from mineral-dense termite droppings, which the Ostrons call Ito Da. You may also never form a consonant again, but at least you will not be dead. Okay, that's good, good to know, I think. <laughs> we can find food on the floor. <laughs> Tell my droppings. Those tabs are actually shortcuts and they keep you within the storyline. You don't have to be just clicking on things on the screen. As they become available to you, then that tab will guide you. Eliminate all corpus threats. Okay, just bust up everybody. Alright, that's simple enough. These guys do look a bit different. What is... Okay, cool. Another card. Another power up. Look like they've got toasters on the heads. <laughs> There's markers on the map only. For now, we just gotta bust up everything that we find. Just need to take note of the new stuff at the bottom of the screen. I'm actually really keen on finding Field Run. Man, there's so many names of weird elements, minerals, rocks and stuff in this game. But yeah, they all do something. And as we unlock them, then we will be able to collect more of these things that we just keep littering all over the show. Okay, even the doors open a little bit different. Okay, circuits. Mother Lotus doesn't like us to get distracted. So these bright guys, these guys that glow different colors, evidently... They've got a higher chance of actually dropping things that we need, like new stuff that we will find. Maximus eliminated. Those are what we actually go for. Can't pick up anything there. This mission is basically just the bust, bust them up mission. We could have activated a takedown maneuver there. He's actually one of the toughies. 
duffer soldiers for the corpus alloy plate that's also something that we require if you guys find it a bit difficult to open these lockers you know I'm also finding that to trigger them you got to be extremely accurate I suppose we'll get used to it as we progress through the game. Our aim will be better. Yeah. These are one of the locks. Okay. Alright, pretty simple. A little bit more complex than the Grenier, but sort of a mini puzzle. Something that I want to bust up. Dude's getting a huge gun. I didn't make out whether it was anything new that I collected. Okay, credits, health. <laughs> These lockers have a sweet spot, you gotta find it exactly. Okay, cool. Sample of field run. Okay, so we know that it's here. It's actually quite fortunate because I only need 10 of them. So if I can collect a few here and I need to repeat the mission maybe once or twice, then I can at least get one of those companions going. Yeah? So that triggers an alarm. And that's what we don't want. Or do we? Okay. Maybe we will want that to happen if we get like a really powerful companion. What the heck? There's a heavy unit approaching. What the heck was going on? <laughs> okay, Venus. So there should be gravitational issues on the planet. Makes sense. So our warframe somehow generates an artificial gravitational field. Okay, let's 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 not overthink this. Just bust the oh dear. Just bust everybody up. That's what we came here to do. Jaw teeth. Well I have learned a few moves on Earth. <laughs> I'm actually quite used to this warframe now. Evidently, the card power-ups can actually change the way he moves. They call it stances. As I unlock those cards, it will actually be interesting to see because they're supposed to make him do more powerful moves when you press square. be quite cool to actually see how strong this thing actually gets. <laughs> To try not to blow myself up. So logic will have it when those when these beasties link up like this, the the firepower should become more concentrated and that should do more damage. Let's unlock this thing. I skipped ahead here, so what happens is if you get a puzzle that's a little bit too complicated, then you can always just go out of the console and back in again until you get something more simple. Or you're going to trigger the alarm every time. Man, that, that door's bust. There's a heavy unit approaching. Mama Lotus. Evidently... Okay, I need to bust that guy, but evidently... In the storyline, Mama Lotus is actually quite concerned about the Tenno. In a way, she actually adopted the Tenno. So the Tenno are supposed to be teenagers. And Mama Lotus, because they've got these abilities that they've gained somehow. So Mama Lotus is actually sending them out on missions. Uh, but they, she's basically adopted them. But we'll find out more as the story progresses. 
And after we remove the worm from his head in one of the earlier playthroughs, I thought that the, with the amount of enemies that this Tiano has made, that he should be older than just a teenager, but evidently not. I don't suppose the story will make, you know, sense in human years. Maybe they age slower or something like that. Anyway, I'm overthinking things again. Let's just bust everybody. Mission is over. Okay. Okay, we've now got a marker, so we gotta go that way. <laughs> Clueless. They panic funny. <laughs> then to stop and attack the attacker and... Okay, so this is a new power that I've learned. So, it... What it does is it creates like a knockback where it actually... Sort of confuses the thing that you're attacking. But it seems to have a range. Good to know. Okay, gotta go this way. Man, playing like a bot. <laughs> now they are kind of tough. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. But I suppose this is the second planet that we're dealing with. These soldiers should be a little bit more tougher than the Grenier that we were dealing with. Although in wave missions they did get extremely tough. Well they did kick my butt after a while. But then again I suppose the wave missions that's the whole idea of the wave missions. But we'll see once the companions are unlocked we'll see. Exactly. How tough the Tianos can become. Oh, you green guy. So Maximus gave me credits. I think that was LA. Is it game over? Oh, oh. Let's see. I should be looking at the screen and not at <laughs> what I'm collecting. Okay. Even the lifts are weird. Alright, so we're gonna bust up a few things here. Let's see what's in these lockers. Come on, open. Okay, credits. Affinity. Or something? Okay. Nav. Component. Okay, navigational component. That's something that I need. Field run. Cool. So I should have a few now. So we'll see. If um, this mission does give me a few field run, then I can actually play it again. Okay, cool. Four. So I should need to play this mission maybe one or, or two more times and then I'll be able to get one of those. Okay, cool. Companion card. <laughs> Indian. But ladies and gentlemen, that was the first mission of Venus. I'm going to end the video here and then hopefully when you guys join me again on our next Warframe playthrough, we will be activating a companion. I'm Argent Leo. We've been playing Warframe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the content of this channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.